some of the demonstrations always become more, let's say, dynamic than others. Um, and this series, I mean, some of them have been really rather beautiful. I built my own post-tensioned arch, demonstrating my post-tensioning, which is absolutely tremendous, something you see in Sydney Opera House. It was rather a beautiful thing. Equally, though, I managed to drop, well, it was a brick, through, well, it was a huge pane of glass from about 100 feet up in Cherry Picker. There was a reason for it in science. We were to go on to discover, uh, well, to discuss a discovery of laminated glass and how important that is at the Opera House. Nevertheless, it was quite a lot of fun. But probably the most exciting was when we demonstrated how a wooden wheel wouldn't work very well on a glider because Michael Cayley was trying to devise the world's first man glider well before the Wright brothers. The problem he had was the wheels, the only ones available to him were wooden, and they wouldn't stand up to the impact of landing. I knew the theory, I just felt it was something that we needed to, to demonstrate graphically, to see. What we needed to do, I thought, was get a bicycle, a current modern bicycle, fit it instead of with a tensioned, which is what we're talking about, the invention of what we're coming on to, instead of a tensioned wire spoke wheel, we'd fit it with an old fashioned wooden spoke wheel and then get somebody else, not me, a stuntman, to jump it, land it, and see what happened. Obviously, the wheel would shatter, and it did, and he landed on his face. But, well, that wasn't my face, so I think OK. The demonstrations that caused me worry this time were those that, well, mostly really, really high. But strangely as well, there was something that had a lot of tension. We were demonstrating um, the development of epoxy glues and resins rather than standard glue. And it was... A, uh, again, I knew the science. I knew that a standard glue of the type used on wood, used in fact on an original wooden aircraft, wouldn't stick two bits of metal together. And we demonstrated it by sticking two bits of metal together with wood glue and seeing that they, you couldn't lift a car by it because when well, the bond would snap. When we did it with epoxy, it worked. You could lift the whole car with these two little bits of metal about that big stuck together. That was the joint, and it lifted the whole car. But there was a kind of tension there because I thought, yeah, that's really clever. Can we put it down now because at some point it's going to snap off? It didn't. I think one of the best things about doing this personally, apart from the trips and going out to see these places and the privilege of getting to look behind the scenes at places where we never normally get to see, um, and of meeting often some of the people involved in designing them, one of the greatest privileges is, well, think about it, I'm at a party and looking around for something to talk about. Of them because I can just turn around and say, <laughs> Did you know that there's a direct link between the roof of the new Wembley and uh, a medieval cranoquin, which is a machine devised to, uh, to give you gearing and a mechanical advantage to fire a crossbow? Did you know that? And I've got a conversation right there straight away. What I've got, in fact, is a whole television series worth of those connections. I'm deadly at dinner parties, don't get stuck next to